Welcome to Personalization in Business Central. Do you know them all? Hey, I'm Eric, and um, the inspiration for this video came from a conversation over the past week where um, a customer asked for something uh, that was very annoying for them, and I answered that, hey, you can just do that with personalization. And I said, what? No, you can, with personalization, you can control the fields. But in this case, what they actually want, let me show you. Uh, so um, let's go to a sales order. And um, let's open a sales order. What they did day in and day out was they had to go up here and then select post and send which was a two-click thing which was very annoying and they wanted post and send as a menu item up here so they can just click on it directly and um, let's start there because if i go to personalization we we are kind of know about personalization you can move fields around so but you can also personalize the menu and what you can do specifically here is that you can if you in this case now we i clicked on it so i have to first actually open it up and then i can take post and send and i can drag it up here i'm done and now post and send is my default personalization how cool is that? Um, anyway, got me thinking. Let's uh, let's uh, walk through. What you can actually do with personalization and see if uh, see if we know them all. Um, so, the first one, move stuff around. Uh, we can also move fields around if we want to do uh, to to do that. Um, the same thing. And, and and remember, you open personalization. And then you're you're personalizing this, but you can actually navigate elsewhere and and do uh, multiple personalizations at the same time. You can also start it from a profile, so you're personalizing the profile, and every user that opens up will get those personalizations. Um, but this video is more about what can you actually personalize than the circumstances of when you're going to do it. Um, so we 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 can. Uh, we can move a field to move this point to it and drag it where you want it right so we move address here so we can move fields we just saw that we can move um, that we can move a, a, an action um, so moving excellent um, we can hide something so address 2 I'm never using address 2 I can hide it um, we can also have that we, we will show and collapse. So if I say, let's go to address instead, address and say show when collapsed. Uh, so when we are collapsing general, we will get the address up here because it was part of show when collapsed. Um, we can have something included in quick entry or not in quick entry so what is quick entry quick entry is the order for few so if i'm i'm here and i'm hitting enter the cursor will jump to the next quick entry field and i was in in name i guess and then it jumps down to contact number so i can say okay let's uh let's address be in the quick entry so now pressing enter moves it includes the field or we can of course do the same thing that if we let's exclude this one again and if we're never using contact then we're gonna uh, we're gonna exclude that one we can also make a field read only uh, meaning lock uh, editing so this is more like a uh, oh hey eric you should never type in that field stop typing that field and then you can make sure that uh you don't if your name is eric that is don't type in that field so that's pretty cool um 
We can, of course, also add fields that are not necessary on the screen. So we can go up here and say plus field, and we'll get a list of, of fields. So let's say that we, we actually use name two. Um, and there's different ways of doing it. You can drag it in. If, if that uh, if that's your your thing, the other one and and I kind of like this uh, to do this uh, is that and you see the um, the I with the dash two. So if you click on that, then you see that the name field shows up where Microsoft has intended the field to be, and now we can go down here and say show and the field is added. It's actually a pretty lousy spot for this field. So you will probably move it up. Uh, see if we can get scrolling working here. That's sometimes the biggest problem with all this is that you have to be able to scroll. Um, anyway, and, and the fields you can add depends on the first one is like the old style that is recommended fields. So fields that have by the developer has been added to the page, but as non-visible. And then there are some options for uh, adding fields that was never intended to be on the screen. Um, and you might not have that option depending on your setup. Um, if a field is controlled, whether there's, there's, there's code that is triggering whether it's it's there or not, then it's out of this list. So you cannot add personalization to something that is controlled by code. Okay, uh, let's see what are we missing. Um, so we can we can also control. You see, we have show less, show more. So we we can um, we can show under show more show always so so due date i don't want to see that here so now due date is gone we have to click show more to show add due date so if you are if you like the simplification of you know only having the fields that you really need in the in the normal setting um then you can move fields into show more if you want to do that Okay, let's uh, let's actually. I'm going to say clear personalization here. Clear everything. So now you could either say you want to clear only what's done on the menu. No, let's let's save it. Uh, or you can clear what's happening to fields, or you can clear everything. Um, so the next thing is a list page. So here is a uh, here's a list page, and you can see that right now number is frozen. But if we go and say personalize on the list page, we say okay, let's uh, let's grab the the name and say okay. Now we have told that that is a freeze column, so you can see that now cell two became a, fr a freeze column also. So it, 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 it's columns from the left. How many are locked and will not scroll? So you can control that. Um, you can if we have up here i think there's a way to actually reorder the reorder and remove views um, maybe not interesting okay let the, there does there, there's actually a thing where you can uh, you're supposed to be able to reorder views um maybe it's in here maybe it's here yeah yeah ah this is it so here you can say that i want ready to ship to be the first view uh or maybe you don't want to see a view so now we go up here then now ready to ship is the first one that's how we do it yeah so in the filter pane you go and here you can customize it Uh, okay, and then the last one I want to show, then we're done in almost 10 minutes, which is awesome. 
This one was the one I have actually never seen in real life, and it's kind of weird. So let's go to uh, go to an item. Let's go to something where there is a bomb, and actually we want to see the, the the page called bomb level. So this page has the tree uh, layout, so you can collapse and so on. And if you go and say personalize on this page. This is this is the one that I know. Then you close this one. So now it's collapsed. And we say done. We go back out and now we go in and say bomb level. Now it did not do it. Interesting. We are supposed to to be able to remember the setting so if I go and I say personalize on this one there's nothing here so Microsoft says choose the expand all or collapse all bottom in the upper left corner of the list so that would be this one or is it this one might be actually this one this is the one here's the thing so now we are collapse also let's say personalization close this one bomb level still not did I do it the wrong way uh, are you yelling at the screen now no, okay let's uh, let's see if we can get this I was so proud and thought I was done in 10 minutes so now it's just doing it without asking me personally. So this is perhaps just remembering setting. Interesting. Anyway, the menu select that post and send was the default posting action was a time saver, click saver. The, you know, the, this user's mouse will last twice as long now because you don't have to click on there to click on post and send. Um, it's pretty cool that what you can actually do uh, to make the UI your own. Um, so I use it, users use it, and uh, maybe you want to use it too. Uh, check out this video when you're done testing out the personalization. There's probably some ale hacking going on here. Check it out. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.